Eddie Pinheiro about set to get us going, and we are underway here in Charlotte. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he is advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels, and picking up some nice yards. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Chicago! D.J. Moore, 68 yards. And the Bears go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press, and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. A run there on first down going nowhere as he stopped right at the 25. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases, to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Third and nine here. From the shotgun, it's Young. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. Let's go, let's go. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return, and the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first and 10, it's Swift. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. On third down, Williams. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. I thought maybe when he caught he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears' field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this is off the left upright, and it comes back. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. They had a chance there to really build a nice early lead, go up a couple of scores, but he doesn't hit that one quite right, and it winds up in empty possession. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. From the 46, here's second down and seven. Here's Young from the shotgun. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Young to throw it. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Not much happening offensively here early on. That's two drives and zero first downs. This defense, they've come to play, and they're the better of the two units here so far. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 28, it's second and five. Now he'll try to run with this. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 
And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From just shy of midfield, here's second and five. On the option to give to Swift here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 42. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42 yard line. Back to throw, Williams. And again, back to Komet. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. Here's Williams off the play fake. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got the connection to Moore. And he will have the Bears first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. The end result, 21 yards. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and broke their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. Here's Swift. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Swift again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears go up by two touchdowns. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. 
Santos with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ballgame as they come up first and 10. Now here's Young. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This is second and eight. They go play action. Young checks this down to Hubbard. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third and three. Young to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, there you go. And some oohs and ahs from the crowd as he jukes his way forward for a couple of yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down. And, and look at this. It's a fake. And this is caught. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. I'm not sure that the surprise was that they actually faked it. That's classic territory to go ahead and do it. The surprise to me is that they were successful. I'm not sure the defense was really prepared. And now they're going to keep the drive alive here. Really big play on the fake punt. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. To the air once more, Young. Incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here.
They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Young will set to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Young. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Here is Young. Touchdown, Panthers! Tommy Trimble, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers are back within a score. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. So that drive spans 13 plays and Carolina scores to cap it off. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now Williams to throw again. He finds his target, Allen. A big play there just before halftime. 47 yards. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw, Williams. That's complete right side to commit. Touchdown, Chicago! Cole Komet with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 21-7.
Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Holding offense. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. So the holding call on the offense, so they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT. Williams now on first and 10. And he slides to a halt inside the 10. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Operating from the gun, Williams. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Bears will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around, they're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. This fielded right at the goal line and beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. But the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive 
on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. Got his man, it's Jonathan Mingo. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. To throw, Young. Escaping the pressure right. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 43. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's second and five now from the 37. Now Young. That's over the middle and caught by Mingo. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 25-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. What you talking about, left? A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Throwing. Young. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Let's go, baby. From the 20, here's second down and five. Again, it's Young. It's caught by Sanders. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll run with Sanders. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line. Down at the two. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Young off the play fake. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. And now after that sack, we'll pause here a moment because someone was shaken up on that play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? First try for the right arm of Dalton here. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen from six yards away. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. 
And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Come on, man. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Operating from the gun. Williams looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Williams on first down. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-bodied tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. He had been held in check. Now he breaks that big run, shows the explosiveness we all knew was there. All right, tell the truth now. You knew it was just a matter of time, matter didn't you? Time. We've seen this so many times from him. Hold him down, hold him down, and then breaks out. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Ten more there and another first down. Oh, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Herbert is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone. And he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Now the point after try for Santos. Come on, 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and 10 now, third quarter from Charlotte. They'll give this to Hubbard running right. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Young. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's Johnny Hacker now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass earlier. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And we're back now in Charlotte. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Once again, it's Swift. And some space here. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Swift going to try up the middle. 
And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. On the option to give to Swift here. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On third down, here comes Swift. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On is Santos for the Bears' field goal. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Quick completion here to Johnson. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They'll throw again, Young. That is caught, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 43. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, 
can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Young from the shotgun. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now back to throw. He finds his man Johnson. And he gets this inside the ten to the nine. It's also a gain of nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Got to go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Jonathan Mingo, a five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers are able to cut into that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Bears hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. The risk reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them and field position leads you to that type of play calling and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep those types of things now that they've given up that type of field position the advantage is switched to their opponent we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's gonna get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
Let's go now. Let's go. Let's get some run. All right, guys. All right. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So it's the Bears who come away with a victory, and it was their quarterback who led the way, Charles. Pretty impressive play for a rookie. Yeah, sometimes you just have those games where everything's clicking, and this was one of those days. He wound up with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. He was large and in charge all day long. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.